All right, I'm coming. Hello? You're through to the pl... No, madam, this is not the captain's salt home for retired fisher folk. This is the police station. And you're speaking to a very sleepy policeman. Dad? I had a horrid dream, Dad. I was being chased by a great big monster. Horrid it was. All green and slimy with great big eyes and teeth and stuff. Oh, well, there's no need to worry. There's no such thing as monsters. Uh, and next time you dream one up, you can tell him I said so. <laughs> I will, Dad. Now, back to bed with you. <sighs> and me too, come to that. Monsters. No such thing. Monster. Help! Police! Police! The, 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 the police! Help! The, 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 the police! Arabella, we are the police. Now then, Mrs. Draper, what seems to be the problem? There's a. A, a, a monster! A great slobbering monster come to get us all! A monster, you say? Monster? monster? There's no such thing as monsters. Perhaps you could give us a detailed description of this monster? Well, not exactly, no. I didn't actually see it. But I heard it all right, down at the fire station, roaring and snarling and carrying on something great. And it was. I think I'd better get down to the fire station, sir. Just to check it out. Uh, yes. Yes, yeah, yeah, you do that, Sergeant. Fluffy Mouse? Arab. <laughs> oh. Down to you and me then, Fluffy. Sign of a monster at the. Uh, Sergeant, perhaps it might be better to come back later when the monster doesn't sound quite so fierce. Fluffy, I've said before, there's no such thing as monsters. Then, what's that? Uh... Hello, hello. Spawn a bother. Uh, well, sort of. We're making investigations into that monster you've got in there. <laughs> monster? <laughs> That's not a monster. Then what is it? Fire Officer Burns had a bit of an accident in training. Got in a bit of a muddle and attached the hose to the fire engine's exhaust pipe instead of the water outlet. Still not got it off, I see, Burns. See? I told you there was no such thing as... A monster! No, Arabella! It was the fire engine and a hose. M monster! And Mr... P -p 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 Peppermint! Right, come on. Let's go and have a look at this monster of yours. Oh, help! Oh, dear! Hmm. Ooh, eh. Uh, I've heard of fire-breathing monsters, but that looks like it must be a thorn-breathing one. Fluffy! There are no such things as... <laughs> What would happen? You've just knocked the sergeant into the monster's gunk. Oh no! What if. What if it's poi poisonous? Hmm. It tastes like sherbet. Look out! 
That's because it is sherbet. Mr. Peppermint? I had a bit of an accident, see? I'd just taken delivery of a big barrel of sherbet and I was going to clean the windows. Well, I forgot the sherbet was there and I tripped and dropped the bucket of water in it. Frothed up like anything. Yes, I can see that. Gonna take me ages to clean this little lot up, I can tell you. Well, don't worry, Mr. Peppermint. We'll help, won't we? Yes. Of course we will. As clean as a new pin. Oh, thank you. Oh, you've been a great help. Haven't seen my shop looking so clean in a long time. Ooh! <gasps> what is it? Uh, not a monster? No! It's a kite! Cool! I don't half fancy one of them. Fluffy, we are officers of the law. We can't go round playing with... Hello? Where's he gone? Well, we can't hang around here, can we? We've got work to do. Come on, team. Wait! I've got you all something for your hard work. Mr Benson was selling these in his toy shop. Oh, thanks, Mr Peppermint. Uh, thank you, Mr Peppermint. I'm not sure whether I should. On duty and all that. <laughs> Look at me, Kite! Oh, well, perhaps just this once. What? I, oh, uh, not asleep. Just resting. Ah, help! It's a monster! A monster! Somebody! Anyone! Oh, help! I'm being attacked by a monster! Oh, help! A monster! Help! It's the inspector! Come on, quick! Inspector? Inspector Hector! Oh, it, oh, oh, thank heavens you hear strides. There's a, oh, they've got you too. Help, monsters. <laughs> this isn't a laughing matter, Stripes. <laughs> it is, sir. These are monsters. They're kites. It's like I keep saying, there's no such thing as monsters. Oh, well. That's as may be. And what are you doing mucking about with kites anyway? Playing with kites on duty? Well, it's a serious disregard of... of, um, of, of duty. Don't let it happen again. It's lovely, Katie. Well, no, it's... It's horrible and monstery. <laughs> yeah, it's the monster I dreamt about last night. I made it in school. Mrs Sparrow said it was really... <laughs> <laughs> Poor Stripes. I don't think anyone's told him there's no such thing as monsters.
big-legged Ted, the menace of the high seas. <laughs> and who are you, Katie? Captain Kate, of course. Aye, aye, Captain. Where are we bound? We're off in search of treasure. Rubies, amethysts, emeralds and gold doubloons. <laughs> <coughs> Hello? Uh, PC Harker speaking. Oh. Well, don't worry, I'll come down to the bank straight away. Uh, Katie, I've got to go and see the bank manager. <laughs> He's locked himself out of his bank and he thinks somebody's inside stealing all the money. Ah, stealing his treasure. See you later, Katie. Come on, peg leg Ted. Let's find our treasure chest. <laughs> Avast me hearties. One moment the box was there, the next it was gone. So, are you saying, Mrs. Draper, that your jewellery box was stolen? Well, it didn't walk off on its own, Inspector. And what exactly did this here jewellery box contain? All my treasures. Rings, necklaces, bracelets, brooches, medals, mementos. Yes, I'll, I'll get onto it right away, Mrs. Draper. What will you do, Inspector Hector? Oh, um, oh I, I'll turn this town upside down, Mrs. Draper. One at a time now. One at a time. Arabella! What is the matter with these ducks? They're upset because somebody has dumped rubbish in the town pond. Enough! I'll go and inspect the pond right away. Off you go now. Sergeant Stripes is on the case. Andy, we have a job to do. Andy! Can you leave the siren and lights for when we're actually on the job? What's going on, Sergeant Stripes? We have to get down to the park right away, Fluffy. We have a serious duck situation. Sergeant Stripes! Stop! Oh, come back! There's a crime to solve! Oh, dear. It looks like I'll have to find Mrs. Draper's jewellery box myself. This is outrageous! Shocking! <laughs> Mr. Draper, <laughs> do you know who all this rubbish belongs to? Well, actually, Sergeant Stripes, it belongs to my, um, <laughs> wife. Do you mean to tell me that Mrs. Draper dumped this lot into the pond? Well, no, of course not. Um, I did. <gasps> you dumped it? I, I, I didn't mean to, Fluffy Mouse. You, you see, Mrs. Draper asked me to take some stuff to the town hall for the jumble sale. I put it all onto my trolley and took a shortcut through the park. The trolley got heavier and heavier and I, I couldn't hold it anymore. <laughs> Rolled away. So, if you're going to arrest anybody, Sergeant Stripes, it'll have to be me. Hmm. Oh, I suppose it could be behind here. Oh, oh, oh dear. Yeah, in here. 
go. Yeah. There isn't time to stand around eating bananas, Inspector Hector. I'm not eating bananas, Mrs. Draper. I'm looking for your jewellery box. You're not exactly turning the town upside down, are you? <laughs> Good job we have that rope in Andy's boot, Sergeant Stripes. Don't worry, Andy. Arabella's going to wade into the pond and tie the rope to the trolley. Oh, dear. Then you and I... And me, too! We're all going to pull it out together. Arabella will be fine, Mike. <laughs> well done, Arabella. Heave away, Sergeant. Put your foot down, Sarge. Go, Andy. Go. Take the weight alone. We need something big and bulky to give Andy a shove. Maybe it's under here. Hang on. Inspector, Inspector Hector. Hector! He's just the person we need. Go on, Inspector. Go on, Go on Inspector. Inspector. Go on. Go on, Go on Inspector. You can do it. Done, team. Look what I found floating in the pond. I'll be having that, Arabella. This could well be the property of Mrs. Draper. It is the property of Mrs. Draper, Inspector. Uh, but your wife reported it stolen. I, I, I've been looking for it all day. Oh, I must have put the jewellery box in with the jumble. It's really not your day, Mr. Draper. I'd like to congratulate you, Sergeant Stripes. You've made a lot of ducks very happy today. It was a team effort, sir. I couldn't have done it without my colleagues, especially Andy. <coughs> oh, and, um, of course you, sir. You were a huge help. <laughs> All in the line of duty, Sergeant Stripes. A rich hoard of treasure, Peg Leg Ted. Stripes, that's Dad's police medal. Dad, did the bank manager get robbed? <laughs> no, Katie. He just locked himself out and I helped him find the key. But somebody's robbed me. I'll be having that, Katie Harker. Oh, Dad, <laughs> that's our treasure. <laughs> <laughs>
you wish you were going to school today, don't you, Sergeant Parker? Oh, of course. Your dad's going to give a talk about road safety to your class today. Yes, he's going to be brilliant. Oh, well, I, I hope I am, so long as I remember everything I'm supposed to say. Don't worry, Dad. You'll be fine. And Mrs Sparrow's really looking forward to meeting you. <laughs> Steady, Katie. Whoops! Sorry! See you later! Sergeant Stripes reporting for duty, sir. Oh, uh, oh uh, glad to see it, Sergeant Stripes. Uh, oh, because there's something very important happening today. But, uh, oh, I can't for the life of me remember what... I mean, I... Uh, but, um... Perhaps if you looked in your diary, sir? Ah, yes, 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 of course. Good thinking, that man. Woman. G giraffe. Um... Oh. Ah! Something the matter, sir? Ooh, it says here, you're to go and give a talk about road safety to the school, sir. And you haven't done anything about it, have you, sir? No notes or anything like that. Ooh, still, I'm sure you'll be fine. No, no, I'm afraid I won't. I've lost my voice. Um, here there's a lot of it about. Mystery illness. Can strike at any time. Afraid you'll have to go in my place, Sergeant. Me? Yes, you, Sergeant. Well, I suppose I'd better start making some notes. Good idea, Sergeant Stripes. You, um, uh, you, you do that. <clears throat> Crossing the road can be quite dangerous. Hmm. Look both ways. And, uh, oh, remember to listen carefully for... Hello? Police station? Sergeant Stripe speak. Help! It's Mr. Draper. He was doing some decorating, and I came out to give him a cup of tea. Well, I don't know how it happened. I knocked his ladder over, and it broke, and... Um, uh, could you tell him to come quickly, my love? I don't know how much longer I can hold on. Well, couldn't you call the fire brigade? This is more their sort of... Help! Arabella, could you... No! I, I, I'd drop him. I'd, I'd, I'd mess it up. It, it... Andy? <laughs> Wait for me, Sarge! As you go. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank you, Sergeant. Oh, I'd never have been able to forgive myself if... Clarence, what's happened to your arms? Uh, well, I, uh, I think my arms must have got stuck. <gasps> oh, Clarence, whatever shall we do? Leave this to me, Mrs Draper. <laughs> Perhaps we'd better take him to the doctor's. Oh, I suppose so. Though how I'm ever going to get my talk to the school ready. Bum -de bum 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 um, I mean, uh, oh, oh, everything all right, Sergeant? Everything's fine, sir. We took Mr Draper to the doctor's. His arms are all sorted. And while we were there, Sergeant Stripes asked for some medicine for your throat. 
Looks like you'll be able to give that talk to the school after all. What? But, but, uh, oh. Open wide, sir. Serge, I've written you a brilliant speech. Oh. 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 oh, no. Whew. Oh, dear. I've been writing your speech for you to save you some time, Sergeant Stripes. That's very kind of you, Arabella. Pity I can't read it. The safest place to cross the road is away from parked cars. How's the speech coming along, Sergeant? Fine. Thank you, sir. Is it me or is it hot in here? Better have a spot of fresh air, I think. There you go, Pip. I want you to deliver these leaflets all around the town. They're to advertise the shop. Should get a few more customers in with them. Okie dokie, Mr Peppermint. See you later. Come back! among all that lot. Oh, Mr Peppermint's leaflets! Oh, no! What's he going to say? I don't know. But I know what I'm going to say to Inspector Hector. Stripes! I've just had that Mr Pearson on the phone. Says you've been lit... I mean, he says you've been littering. Well, don't just stand there gawping. Get it cleaned up. Sorry, Inspector. No can do. It's time for me to go to the school to give my talk. Unless, of course, you want to. Ah, I, I can't, Stripes. <laughs> my voice. Hmm. Still, your voice won't stop you helping Arabella and Fluffy to get this litter cleaned up, will it? <laughs> oh. Well, here we are at the school, Andy. But it's all locked up. There's no one here. I don't suppose. Good news, Inspector. Your little road safety talk go down well, did it, Sergeant? Uh, no, sir. You got the wrong day. The school's on half-term holiday this week. The talk's not till next week. And it sounds like you've got your voice back. You'll be able to give the talk yourself. What? Oh! <laughs> You should have been there, Sergeant Parker. Dad was brilliant. Weren't you, Dad? Well, I, I, I did my best. Well done, Harker. Stripe says well done too, I think.
school, Katie. Yes, and Mrs Sparrow says she's going to teach us how to make fudge. Well, bring some back for me. Yes, I see. Right, thank you. PC Harker! Uh, Sarge? The traffic lights have broken down at the High Street crossroads. Can you nip down there to direct the traffic? Uh, on my way, Sarge. Come on, Katie. We can go to school together. Whoops. <laughs> Hang on. What, Dad? You mustn't forget this. I'll need to lock my bike up when I get to the High Street. Wouldn't want anyone stealing it, would I? Sergeant Stripes reporting for... Oh. Arabella, where's the inspector? He popped out a while ago. Not sure where he was going. Oh, my sainted Aunt Nora on a bike. Oh, Mrs Peppermint, what happened to you? Yes, it is, Inspector. Oh, lovely day. Well, it's not like the inspector to... Oh, bye. Oh, my feet are killing me. Oh, walked all the way back, I did. Ooh, Ooh, inspector! Inspector! What? What's happening? What's the matter? <coughs> uh, I think we might have forgotten something, sir. Oh, sorry about that, uh, ladies. Inspector, what happened to your uniform? Well, it uh, sort of slipped my mind, see. I'd, I'd taken it to the dry cleaners. Bit of a porridge accident at breakfast. Must have forgotten I didn't have it on. Mind you, could have happened to anyone. It's a long walk back from the dry cleaners. Oh, oh, me poor old feet. Oh. <sighs> Hello, police. How can I help? I, uh, I see. Y y yes, uh, I. Uh, right away. We're on the case. Come on, team. That was the park keeper. There's someone vandalising the park pond! Yeah. See you at the park, Arabella! Oh, no! Where's Mike the bike? Come on, Arabella! Uh, I, I can't! What? Why not? It's Mike. He's not here. I left him there earlier on and, and, and now he's gone. Mike! Oh, no! Perhaps someone's stolen him. Oh, help! Police! Arabella? Yes? You can begin to search for Mike. We'll catch up with you when we've dealt with the park vandals. Oh, all right. But, but don't be long, Sergeant. Bicycle thieves are usually all big and fierce and dangerous and... Uh, and oh, help! Are you there? Mike! Right, Andy. To the park and... <coughs> Not now, Andy. <coughs> All right, Chummy. The fun's over. This is the police. The police? Oh, thank goodness. Get me out of here. M Mrs. Mrs. Peppermint! Yes! Now, please, pull me out of this horrid pond. 
Grab my hand, Mrs. Peppermint. <laughs> Mrs. Peppermint, have you put on weight? Certainly not. Well, just a little. That's why I've been skating, you see, to try and get in trim. But I think my skate must have been caught in the weeds. Come on, Fluffy. One more good heave should do it. <laughs> You. <laughs> What's the matter? Haven't you seen a pair of roller skates before? Uh, I don't think it's the skates, Mrs. Peppermint. I think it's that very smart suit you're wearing. Oh, yes. Just the thing for getting in trim. <laughs> Ta ta! Ouch! Right, that's the mystery of the park vandal solved. Now we better go and help Arabella look for Mike. Help! Police! Stop! Mr. Peppermint! What's the matter? Oh, oh it's, it's my shop. I think someone's trying to break in. you in the name of the... Ah! No! Uh, get, get off! Uh, help! It's... Arabella? Sergeant? Well, Sergeant, did you get them? Arabella! I was looking for Mike. Someone's stolen him. Stolen? Are you sure? <laughs> I saw Inspector Hector riding him just an hour or so ago. Inspector... Uh... He wasn't by any chance going towards the dry cleaners, was he? Well, now you come to mention it. Oh. Well, where's he going? Mike! Sergeant! You're brilliant! Where did you find him? Outside the dry cleaners. I think Inspector Hector must have left him there when he took his suit to be cleaned. Inspector? Oh, yeah, 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 uh, Sergeant? I got your uniform from the dry cleaners and I think you left something else there. Oh, my word! Mike! Oh, I must have forgotten all about him. Oh, no! What is it, sir? What's the matter? Well, if I hadn't forgotten him, I could have saved myself that walk back. Oh, my poor old feet! Oh, my poor old feet. Hard day, Dad. I'll say, on my feet directing traffic all day. <laughs> it's all right for you, Stripes. Being a cat's an easy life. You ought to try being a policeman. <laughs> oh, Dad, you do say the silliest things.
to the fair. <laughs> Is there a big wheel at the fairground, Katie? Oh, yes. And a merry-go-round, and a ghost train, and... <laughs> Lucky Lil, the fortune teller. Oh, uh, tell my fortune, Lucky Lil. <laughs> I see a soft, small, cuddly thing. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Parker. Morning, Katie. Listen to my music box, Sergeant Harker. It's lovely, Katie. <laughs> Stripes doesn't seem to think so. Roll up. Roll up. Come to the fair. Now, we have to be extra vigilant this week, Sergeant Stripes. The fairground's in town, so, well, anything could happen. Inspector Hector, there's been an incident at the fairground. A roundabout horse has gone missing! Oh, yeah, we'd better get down there right away. Jolly was right there when we went to bed last night. Jolly's the most popular horse. All the children love him. He's, he's unique, irreplaceable. Sergeant Stripes, seal off the fairground. Nobody goes in or out until we find Jolly and the thief. To the fairground. Uh, sorry, the fairground's closed. We're investigating a very serious crime. Ah, oh, we wanted to ride Jolly on the merry-go-round. I'm afraid he's gone missing. <gasps> oh, he's our favourite horse. Oh, when will he come back? When we've tracked down the thief who stole him. Um, uh, uh, see anything suspicious, Arabella? No, nothing, sir. We've got to get out now, Inspector Hector. Oh, yeah, yeah, right here. Oh, 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 help! Oh, oh, Inspector! You, well, uh, don't just stand there. Scour the fairground. <laughs> there are days when I really wish I wasn't a police mouse. There's nothing to be afraid of, Fluffy Mouse. Whoa! Oh, just a little spider. <laughs> about Wuffy. <gasps> wow! Look at those goldfish. Report, Sergeant Stripes. No, sir. We've drawn a complete blank. 
The roundabout horse has got to be somewhere. Right! He couldn't just disappear into thin air. It is it's a it's a complete mystery. I know who can help us. Yes. yes. Lucky Lil the fortune teller. Jolly is safe. Oh. But he's afraid. Oh. Oh. He's in a very dark place. Oh. oh. And it's a very close by. Oh. oh. Well, so how's that going to help us, Arabella? Uh, well, we know Jolly's in a dark, scary place, uh, very close by. Hmm, now then, where's a dark, scary place in the fairground? Get out with it, Fluffy Mouse. The ghost train. Yeah, but you inspected the ghost train, Sergeant Stripes. I did, sir, but uh, I was so scared, I closed my eyes. Who would hide a merry-go-round horse inside the ghost train? I know exactly who. Mr. Spooks, what owns the ghost train? He's always been jealous of us because the children prefer our merry-go-round to his scary ghost train. <sighs> right, well, we've got to get inside the tunnel. <laughs> S stay calm, everybody. Now, don't panic, Arab. Arabella. It was a, a difficult case, Mrs. Mary, but I knew I'd crack it in the end. It was a team effort, Arabella. But I found Jolly. Yippee! Jolly's back. Oh, please, can we have a ride, Mr. Mary? Everybody can have a ride. Play the music, Mrs. Mary. <laughs> Stripes. Hey, Katie, I've got a surprise for you. The fair's in town. Oh, please can we go on the big wheel and the ghost train? <laughs> we'll see, Katie. Oh, and the merry-go-round. Can I go on that too? Now you can have a quiet snooze, Stripes.
say to PC Harker? Uh, where are you off to, Sarge? Oh, I saw something Katie might like on my way here this morning. I just thought I'd... Dad! Dad, guess what? You had slug pie and frog's nose for lunch. <laughs> no, Dad. We've got two new boys in our class and they're twins. <laughs> they look just the same as each other. Cool. Just think of the fun you could have if someone looked just like you. You could play all sorts of tricks on people. And teachers. <sighs> Twins home. The same. Look at that. Sergeant Stripes reporting for duty, sir. Uh, I, oh, it, oh, oh, look at that. My paperwork. I'll get them, Inspector. It's... <sighs> it's all right, sir. I got them. Right. Operation Double Trouble is about to begin. Inspector, panic over. What? Your police station? I... What? Oh, a great train robbery. Oh, quick, Sergeant, to the station. There's been a train robbery. I'm on my way, Inspector. Wait for me. A train robbery? Oh, help, help, help. Arabella? Y yes? Uh, perhaps you'd like to do some of this paperwork, eh? Take your mind off, um, uh, things. Oh. All right, Inspector. Oh, hello? Police? Yes? Oh. Has there by, by, by... Blackbird? George, well, here's a fine kettle of how do you do. Oh, you can forget about the paperwork, Arabella. Oh, good. And get yourself over to the mechanic's workshop. He's been burgled! What? Oh, what if the burglar's s s s still there? W w w w w what if... Come along, on your way, constable. Oh, all right. I I'm going. Come on, Mike. We've got a job to do. Right. That's them all nicely out of the way. Now to go and see the inspector. <laughs> now there hasn't been a train robbery. But we have reason to suspect. Yeah, I could suspect all you like, but look, look, it's there. Large as life and twice as dirty, look. He's right, Sarge. That's a train, all right. I wasn't saying that the train had been stolen. Yes, you were, and I heard you. Oh, I meant stuff inside the train. Money bags, gold bars, anything of value. There isn't anything of value in the rotten train, is there? Yes, there is. Me and my mum, we're going to the seaside. And if we don't get moving soon, it'll be time to come back before we've even got there. I think someone must have been having you on, Sergeant. Now, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> no sign of any burglars. And he didn't even call the police station. Hang on. If the mechanic didn't phone the inspector, who did? Sarge, you hear that? Hear what? Hmm. Uh, Dunno. <laughs> Must have been imagining things. <sighs> that train robbery wasn't a train robbery at Inspector, are you all right? Never better. Fit as a fiddle. Doing the exercises. Must have been 
between the noises I heard. But, Inspector, you never do. Right, Sergeant, I've just had a call from the bank. The bank manager wants a security check done in the bank vaults. OK, sir. I'm on my way. No, it's all right, Sergeant. I'll go. You? Oh, I get it. And you want me to get on with the paperwork in the meantime, do you, sir? Oh, yes, yes, you do that, Sergeant. <laughs> Good man. <sighs> that was a waste of time. There hadn't been a burglary at the mechanics at all. Someone called me out on a wild goose chase. I don't know. You too. Me too? What? Hmm. No, Sergeant Stripes, I didn't call you, but even if there were any trouble, that nice inspector of yours is here. He's just been round to check the security on the vaults. Nothing to worry about there. They're as safe as houses. <laughs> Jolly good. Thanks, Inspector Hector. <laughs> so, as I was saying, Sarge... Hello? Sergeant Stripes? Funny. He's hung up on me. <laughs> like taking candy from a... Oh, keep calm. Um, <clears throat> off on another case, eh, Sergeant? Yes, and you are the crook. I arrest you in the name of... You'll have to catch me first, copper! Just taking the rubbish out for a... Oh, oh Inspector. I'm so sorry. I didn't see you. Don't worry, Mrs Peppermint. This isn't the Inspector. This is a very clever crook who's going to spend quite a long time in jail. Sergeant Stripes, is Inspector Hector all right? I hope so, Arabella. OK, pal, where is he? What have you done with him? What's going on, Arabella? I'm blowed if I know, Fluffy. We'd better follow them and find out. Oh, well done, Stripes. You foiled a very clever plot. And you can count yourself lucky you caught me on a bad day. Any other time and I'd have had you... But, but Inspector, why are there two of you? Oh, there aren't, you daft ape. There's only one of me. See, he's an imposter. He's made himself up to look like the Inspector so he could get into the bank. I do. <laughs> You've got to admit, he's a handsome devil. <laughs> oh, Sergeant Parker, it looks just like him. Wait till he sees it. I thought you'd be pleased, Katie. Stripes, look what Sergeant Parker bought. It's a cuddly toy kitten, and it could be your twin. <laughs> oh, Stripes! I think he prefers being the only cat around. The cute cat in the little blue hat. Sergeant Stripes, he's the itty bitty kitty protecting the city. Sergeant Stripes, meow, meow. Sergeant Stripes, meow, meow. Sergeant Stripes.
teeth twice a day, eat apples and carrots cause they're okay, but don't eat sweets. <laughs> Open wide, Stripes. Let me see your teeth. Ooh. Oh, Stripes, you've got nice teeth. <laughs> Time to go to the dentist, Katie. Yippee! I can't wait to have a ride in the dentist's chair. See you later, Sergeant Parker. Bye, Katie. Have fun. Clean your teeth twice a day, eat apples and carrots because they're okay, but don't eat sweets. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Listen up, team. <laughs> Attention! Oh. Sorry. Sorry. Now, <clears throat> Mrs. Peppermint's sweet shop has been broken into. Outrageous! <clears throat> the, the, the thief has stolen the box of chocolate creams which the ferret children ordered for their birthday party. Oh, poor little ferrets! The chocolate creams must be found. <clears throat> We're not going to let Pip Pig get away with this. How do you know Pip Pig stole the chocolates, Inspector Hector? It is a proven scientific fact that an excess of sweets and chocolates causes hyperactivity. What's hyperactivity, Sergeant Stripes? It's when you can't stop running about, Fluffy Mouse. <laughs> like that all of the time. <clears throat> <clears throat> now, Pip Pig was extremely active yesterday. I actually saw him running around the park. I shall investigate immediately. But, Inspector Hector, you said you had a dentist appointment this afternoon. Yeah, the, the dentist will have to wait, Arabella. I have a crime to solve. What shall we do, Sergeant Stripes? I think we should go to the scene of the crime, Fluffy Mouse. Would you mind if we looked around, Mrs Peppermint? Of course not, Sergeant Stripes. <laughs> you will have to excuse me. I'm busy making some more chocolate creams for those poor little ferret children. Here, Sergeant Stripes, have a chocolate. Um, oh, thank you, Mrs Peppermint, but... Uh... Not while I'm on duty. Sergeant Stripes? Over here, sir. Hmm. Cocoa powder. Did you spill this cocoa powder over the counter, Mrs Peppermint? Certainly not. I'd have cleaned it up straight away. Ha! Huh? Look at these prints, Sergeant Stripes. They're paw prints. We'd better go through the police records and check all the paw prints in town. Uh, duck, hen, ferret, mouse, dog, donkey, llama, pony. Oh, none of these paw prints match the ones in Mrs. Peppermint's shop. <laughs> oh, Sergeant Stripes, you must help me. In your own time, Susie Sycamore. I can't get into my house. Somebody's blocked the door. We'll see about that, Susie Sycamore. Can you believe it, Andy? Pip Pig's running around the park again. I don't believe it. Exactly what is making you so active, Pip Pig? <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you're impressed, Inspector Hector. It's my keep fit routine. A five-mile jog round the park every day. I don't think so. You're not fit. You're just full of stolen chocolates. <laughs> Are you accusing me of theft, Inspector Hector? Indeed I am, Pip Pig. <gasps> It's a box of Mrs. Peppermint's chocolate creams. 
An empty box of chocolate cream, sir. What's it doing in my home? Sergeant Stripes, this could be vital evidence. Uh, ah, somebody must have eaten the chocolates and disposed of the box. Oh, Sergeant Stripes! Ha! The same paw prints that were in Mrs. Peppermint's shop. Follow those sweet wrappers. They'll lead us to the thief, or I'll eat my hat. <laughs> Red-handed, Ronnie Rabbit. Oh, I've eaten too many chocolate creams. You're very naughty, Ronnie Rabbit. Mrs. Peppermint made those chocolates for Little Ferret Children's birthday party. Ow! Oh, ow! You'd better go to the dentist right away, Ronnie Rabbit. And then you should jolly well apologise to poor Mrs. Peppermint. Oh. Ow! Oh, ow! Oh, ow! <laughs> Look no further for the thief, Sergeant Stripes. I think you should let Pip Pig go immediately, sir. Uh, um, where did you find that box of uh, chocolate creams? At Susie Sycamore's house. But Ronnie Rabbit is the thief. Oh, dear. So, if you've quite finished with me, Inspector... I promise to never ever steal your scrumptious chocolates again, Miss Peppermint. Good. Now, just to prove what a good little rabbit you can be, so take these to the ferret children. Treat yourself. Have a chocolate. Thank you. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Spoil yourself, Inspector. <laughs> Have a few more. <laughs> I, I don't mind if I do. <laughs> <laughs> Inspector Hector, what's the matter? Oh, oh I've got toothache. Oh, ah, oh, why didn't I keep that dentist appointment? Don't get upset, Inspector Hector. I'll take you to the dentist right away. He'll give you a jolly good checkup. And then, if you're very good, perhaps he'll let you ride up and down in his dentist's chair. Look, Sergeant Parker, I got a star sticker from the dentist. That's very pretty, Katie. I've got perfect teeth, haven't I, Dad? Well, that's what the dentist said, Katie. I got a sticker for you too, Stripes. Because you've got perfect teeth too. 